Hello everybody, this is Joseph and welcome to another QML tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be discussing the flickable element. Um, so let's just get started. Let's add a flickable element at this time. Let's say we imported Qt Quick Window, so we can use the width to be screen width, the height to be screen height. Okay, so we're going to use something called content height. Okay, so that's like how much the actual overall height is. And we're going to say screen dot height times four. Okay, and then for our content width, we're just going to say screen width. Okay, um, so now let's have an image inside of here. And before we started, I added some artwork. So um, let's go ahead and give the ID of field, F E I L D. And the source is going to be artwork field. <clears throat> We're going to anchor fill our parent. And we are going to say sources size dot width is going to be screen dot width and sources size dot height is going to be screen dot height times four. So we're making it the exact size as the content width above. Okay, we can look at that artwork real quick and it's just a field. So let's go back over to our flickable products. Okay, so we want this to be interactive. And we want to say bounds behavior. We're going to say flick bull stop at bounds. And if you are wondering what some of these properties do, you know I'm going to say look it up in the help menu, just select it, press F1, and we can go and look at bounds behavior. And you can see uh, this property holds whether the surface may be dragged beyond the flickable boundaries or overshoot the flickable boundaries when flicked. So we're saying stop at the bounds. The content cannot be dragged beyond the bounds of the flickable. And um, so yeah, that's, that's what that does right there. Okay, and um, so let's uh, wrap this all in an item. And we have to give our item the, uh, we can give it some width and height. And we'll just do screen dot width, and we'll go Oops, height. We'll do screen height. And uh, let's do minus 10 to make it so it's not a full screen app. Um, notice that the flickable and the image, okay, are all in one and that, that there is no, right there, uh, there is no curly bracket ending it. So they are together as one element. Okay, so now let's go ahead and run this. And here we go. Now we can flick this. Okay. And it stops at our bounds behaviors in which we want it to stop at. Okay, we can close that. Now let's add another image in here. And this image is going to be called player. And the file is going to be artwork for player. And we will set the X to be, I don't know, screen, oops, screen dot width dash divided by two. And the same with the Y, but we will make it screen height, of course. that and run that. 
there we go, we got a little guy. And when we flick, he's gone. But we have a little guy. In the next tutorial, we'll be learning about keyboard navigation and how to move around the uh, player. Um, but yeah, that's the basis of flickable. Um, you have your content height and your content width. Then you have your regular width, and which is shown. And your content width um, is your actual content that's going to be inside of it. Um, I could have just said for the content flickable, I could have just said field and so on and so forth. Um, of course, I would put some more math in this and we'll uh, see in our next tutorial. Um, go through, I'd say if you want to learn more about Flickable, go through the help pages and uh, learn more about it. This is Joseph. Uh, have a good one and uh, be nice to everybody out there.